Negative exponents can seem a little bit confusing, but they're really just sort of the logical conclusion of uh, the product of powers rule and the quotient of powers rule that we dealt with before. Um, write this, uh, I can't usually write one thing while I'm saying something else very well. I never was very good at the whole walk and chew gum thing. <laughs> Exponents, see? I missed the E-N. Exponents, N-E-N-T-S. All right, there we go. Negative exponents. If, for instance, um, I had the expression a to the fourth, b squared, c to the fifth, and I was dividing it by a to the sixth, uh, b, c to the seventh. Now, our rule for division says that all we need to do is just subtract the powers top to bottom or cancel the numbers on top and leave the numbers on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is answer or sort of uh, simplify this expression in two different ways. First, I'm just going to cancel the things that can be canceled. So if I do that, I get a to the fourth into a to the sixth, so my four a's on top are canceled and I leave a to the second on the bottom. Then if I do the same thing with the b, I have two b's on top, and I cancel with one on the bottom, so I end up with just a b on top. And then with the c's, I have five on top, and I cancel them with five of the seven on the bottom, leaving c to the second on the bottom. So one way to simplify this expression would be just like this, b over a squared c squared. Now, another perfectly valid way to do this is to just use our rule for dividing exponents, and that is that when you divide exponents, you subtract. If I do that, then I have a to the fourth divided by a to the sixth, so I subtract four minus six, and I get a to the negative second. And if I do that with b, I get b to the second divided by b, so I get two minus one, that's just one, b. And five minus seven also gives us c to the negative second. So this is also a perfectly valid way to simplify that expression. Now since both of these work, both of these are you know, sort of legal ways to do this, these two statements must be equal. They must be the same thing. So b over a squared c squared is the same thing as a to the negative 2 b c to the negative 2. Now if you look, you can see that the b is on top in both of these expressions. But in the first expression, a was on the bottom and c was on the bottom with positive powers, positive 2, whereas in the second one, they were both on top with negative 2s. So that gives us an example of the rule we're dealing with here. And that rule is, let me use a different color, that rule is if you have any number to some negative power, just say negative 1, that's the same as that same number to that same power only positive under the fraction bar. And it works the other way too. If I had 1 over x to the negative 1, that's the same as x to the positive 1 on top, which we don't usually bother to write. We just usually write the number. We don't bother to put it over 1. So these two examples here sort of show us how the rules for dividing negative exponents work.